Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again, is what I'd like to be saying, except the graphics seem to have irreconcilably fucked up. No, I'm just messing with it, I was shaking the mouse. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and we are here outside the Bright Falls Power and Light Station. I have a feeling go to the power plant will not be as simple as just walking up to it and opening a door. Oh, wait, that page I found. Uh. Making your way through the water pipe alone. Through the water pipe? Huh. Probably gonna hold your fucking breath. Oh, no. Huh. I was expecting the Taken to fall on my head. God damn it! Oh, hey, those guys are fast. It's too late, I've killed Larry! Oh no, there's also three stooges over here. Okay, fuck this, it's flashbang time. I thought that second one was gonna miss. I like that. Mash the button to reload faster. It just, you know, makes it more in, you know, more intense, more visceral. It's a good word, visceral. I'm no expert, but I don't think we're supposed to be getting constant arcs over those things. Uh oh. Safe haven. No! I was gonna go back and look for pages, but it was pointing this way. I recognized the logo on the power plant sign. I'd seen a version of it painted all over the area, signifying hidden caches of supplies. Are oh, the torches from the symbol, huh? I guess I did notice that. I just hadn't been thinking about it in a while. And I suppose I did just find some stuff, so and there's a thermos right here, so maybe I didn't miss anything up there. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Yeah, it was this that threw me off. Safe haven. Uh, oh. Oh, it's just bright enough over here that I can always see that. Nice. I saw this, and for a second I thought there was a headstone leaned up against the wall. Oh, I like that. It's a nice touch. Oh. Warning! This decommissioned site is private property. The power plant is no longer in operation. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Uh, hold it right there! Miss Weaver! Cynthia! I'm a friend! Prove it! Uh... You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light! In the song! You can help me! About time. Young man, I've been waiting a very long time for you. Holy shit. This woman is not fucking around. Having reached the power plant, Wake must now talk to Cynthia Weaver. Oh yeah, cans of paint, nice. It's in the well-lit room. Oh, man. Excuse me? What you need to drive the darkness back. The well-lit room is at the dam. I built the room to keep it safe. This isn't the well-lit room? Help me find Alice? Will it get me back to the cabin? Fine, let's go. I can get my friends to come back with the helicopter. Oh, we won't go outside. Never at night. That's rule number one. You've been breaking the rules, young man, and where has that gotten us, hmm? Secret route, a lit route, the old water pipe. No! Something was damaged at the transformer yard. Sorry. It's drained all the reserve power. Without it, the pipe will go dark. The power to the yard must be cut. Let me guess. You want me to do it. Young man, you're the one who likes to break the rules. Oh! I can't be outside in the dark. The kill switch is outside. Serious question, why didn't you put it inside? You had, like, decades to prepare. I'm just saying. 
I like that, though. Just fucking... No, let's not fuck around with this. Let's just have these giant fucking spotlights. Like the fucking bat symbol without the bat on it. Just burning anything that walks through Harry, the door. The switch is on the wall facing the shore. Sorry. Oh, hell yeah. I'm just gonna take this. I have been preparing for these times. The dark tides. You have found my caches, haven't you? You can see the signs. Very few people can. Yes, please. Take what you need. This is all for you, for the likes of us. We, we do Tom's work, don't we? He seems to have had I a lot of planning take done. To the well lit room, if the lights in the pipe go out, you must go outside to use the emergency switch. Sorry. Oh. Damn it. Oh. <sighs> M -M. I don't think she even likes looking out there. Obviously, I need to look in here, because there could probably be a page. I miss you, Tom. Darkness That's waits it. in my dreams. It's probably just trauma. Don't worry about it. <laughs> totally haven't had a dream about the dark myself. Actually, you know, there's a theory that, uh... None of this predates Alan getting to Bright Falls. None of it. Nothing that has happened in the story, none of the characters that have appeared. The theory is that he... Th this whole story was inspired by that nightmare he had, which was, wait for it, an actual ordinary dream. He had a dream where he was attacked by an invincible man covered in shadows. He burned the shadows off with a flashlight and killed him. You know, we had a dream of this man appeared multiple times out of thin air. He ran through the woods. He was chased by an all-consuming, encompassing darkness, and he was desperately trying to get somewhere, in that case, to the lighthouse. And then he was rescued from the darkness by a talking ball of light that manifested behind a, po a poster labeled Tom the Poet. <laughs> Everything that happened in the game could have been inspired by that dream. Like it was a microcosm of the entire game. There's a four dollar word for you. Not a single manuscript page. I am the surprised. Alright, I'm going. <clears throat> I will not take that personally. She has been living like this for 40 years, I understand. Maybe we can free her. Okay, that was not very smart of you. Come on, do it! Do it! Oh no. I thought that was going to be a uh Evan sent me to cut the power to the transformer yard. I was willing to do grunt work for her to get her to help me. I hoped Weaver was dependable. I'd stumbled into this crazy world a little over a week ago. She had been living this insanity for decades. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even know that I, th you know, that we can actually free her from this as I'm thinking about it because I feel like the best we can possibly do is putting the darkness all the way back to sleep. <laughs> and it will still be there, still affecting the area. You know, the Taken might even show up occasionally. You know, if the Andersons know how to fight them, but uh, they didn't wake the dark up all the way. That indicates that uh, the Taken can manifest when the darkness is, you know, at, at a, you know, not at its strongest. I hope she's okay. From her perspective, she's been in a living nightmare that no one else takes seriously for decades. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Oh, let's just point into the safe haven, yes.
I could see the kill switch that would cut the power to the transformer yard. Now I had to find a way to reach it. Well, I just go. That door is blocked. Okay. Uh, and that. Hmm. Wait, what? If I could figure out the gates, I could use them to get to the kill switch. Oh, wait. Did I get a checkpoint there? I guess I did. That seems pretty straightforward to me. I just uh, activate this one over here. I don't think it's going to be that simple. But I just don't... Hmm. Yeah, it looks to me like if I can activate... Uh, that one, then I just go over there. Oh, there is a fence there, though. And I bet that door doesn't open. See, I need all three of them, then. So let me guess. The catch is... Oh, one rolls back and one rolls forward. Is that it? Fuck! That's even worse. Oh. Well, I found it the first time, so I'll just, uh, undo what I have done. There we go. I didn't even need to push the third one that time. I'm not sure I understand the, uh, the gate. Aw, oh, surely the water the, in the sluice gate should be way up higher, shouldn't it? Or am I thinking of something else? I think I'm thinking of something else. I'm not actually sure what this is for, given that, you know, there's not exactly going to be boats going through this spot. Rule number two, keep the lights on. I guess rule number one is don't go outside at night. I know I got the achievement already, but fuck it. Ah. Oh. feel better. Seems to have filled it up once. Oh no, right, let's tap down for that. Who designed these things? Oh no! Oh, I don't love this! The transformer yard went dark and dark. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be cut together. You know, if the Bureau of Control knew about, uh... Aw, uh, hell. Knew about the Thomas Zane incident in 1970, they could have been helping this woman. I'm just saying. Like, that's something the Bureau could do. They could get people therapy for all this supernatural bullshit they deal with. Who designed these things? Okay, that wasn't the worst. Oh, never mind. That's one of Thomas Zane's manuscript pages. I don't need that. <laughs> That's somebody else's story. I think I've probably already changed the things in it. So, uh, where are they? Oh! I knew it! I knew it! No! No, bad taken. Heavy 
duty lantern, bitches! Oh. Oh. I don't like how long that one lingered. Like it's getting stronger or some shit. What is making that noise? What? Oh, hell! Hey, on second thought, fuck this! And we're running! Ah! Uh, that did almost no damage, what the hell? It's a chainsaw. One more! Ah, oh, hell! Not one more! Excuse me, buddy, do you fucking- Oh, god. Whoa! You know what, I think this is a good investment for my last shotgun shell. Go to hell! Any last words? I didn't think so! I just thought I'd ask. Yeah, there was not a staircase there before. I dropped down to get here. Or am I remembering a different bit? I might be remembering a different bit. Also, it wasn't a gate where I went. I guess it could have been, you know, closed. Yeah, I think I was remembering over there is where I dropped down, but I still don't remember the gate. Trust no one in the dark. Oh, man. I was just reminded of uh, the bit from The Matrix where they explain that anyone who isn't out of The Matrix can be converted into a host for an agent. If you overwrite the person's uh, digital avatar with uh, an agent. And the phrasing was, if you aren't one of us, you could be one of them. I was gonna imagine he knocked. This way, young man, follow me. Come, come, the pipe's empty now. We're ready to go. I thought the this problem way. was that it was going to get go. dark, not that it was uh, empty. I both, Tom and Barbara. I had such a crush on him. <laughs> such a beautiful man. Hmm. I was jealous. There was a part of me that was maybe a little glad when she had the accident. <laughs> and then Tom started writing and, and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but you can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. <sighs> He was so famous. And afterward, no one knew. No, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me. Or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt. Knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. It's been waiting for you. We are characters trapped in a story and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the darkness isn't stopped. She'll twist the story to her own dark ends. How do you know all this? Tom. That's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We I curse you, Tom. It's touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You just stay. That it does. 
This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. I need to get service out here. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? That was a helicopter crash. They're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Not very. Well, be a fool. I'll use the pipe. I'll meet you at the dam if you make it. I didn't have to worry about her. She knew how to stay safe. Well, that answers one question. Why no one remembers Thomas Zane? He was so desperate to undo what he did, he just wrote a story that did not include himself, Barbara, or any of the things he'd ever written. God, what if that's what happened to the island? What if he invented Diver's Isle for a nice place to go diving? But, uh... Yes. Oh, I see. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again when we take a detour to find out what happened to Barry and Sheriff Breaker. And if Alan's uh, list of allies truly is running out. Wish them luck, Burning Dog fans. And do like the lady says, rule number two, stay in the light. Okay, I know I just did an outro, but, uh... I really, really wanted to share this with you, because I realized that this is happening right now. Making her way through the water pipe alone, Cynthia was angry at the writer. Foolish young man, taking unnecessary risks. And the way he broke the rules. Didn't he understand what was at stake? Since the terrible days in the 70s, she hadn't wavered once, as hard as it had been. She was tired of protecting the town all these long years and now only wanted to rest. It didn't even occur to me how odd it was that it says alone. Huh. So that's neat. But yes. Uh, <laughs> now it's the end of the video for reals. Stay in the light.